this is the pass you need. It is a year pass. It'll get you in up to eight people for free access. Watch how this works. Hi. Hello, thank you. Oh, all right. There we go. <laughs> and just like that, we are in. Look, well, guys, this water is just way too high. We are not going to get any fiddler crabs today. Holy cow. There is not even one in sight. There's usually like thousands in sight. This is insane. They're all underwater right now. So we're going to be tossing artificials. That as plan B. You never know, man. You just got to you gotta do what you got to do. Wow. I'm blown away. To give you an idea, it's pretty windy out here today, but I had to, had to bike, walk the bicycle all the way to where I'm at right now. All the way up this ramp and uh, onto the beach. Well, this ain't happening today. Well, when it's this bad, you gotta do plan B. What's plan B? <laughs> we'll figure it out in just a second. That's how windy it is, guys. Crazy. There's no way I can bike. There's no way. Not happen. It's so jiggly. If anything else, it's really cool looking. We'll take that. We made it to the uh, St. Augustine Pier. The water is so high. I've never seen it come up all the way to the wall before, other than in like major storms. This is crazy. I mean, the ocean is coming into the parking lot. Well, on to plan C. All right, this is spot C. Wow. This is insane. Because <clears throat> the birds really, they just want your bait. So they're telling you, hey, they'll point their beak at... I think this could be a, a wise tale, but I feel like these birds point their beak at uh, the direction of where they say they see fish, and they're like, "Hey, go over there, fisherman, go get that bait and give it to me," because they're so used to people feeding them bait. I feel like they're training us. You can comment below, let me know if that's a bunch of horse crap, but <laughs> I swear, man, every time I'm trying to get bait. I just follow that bird's beak. Try it out. See, see if see if it works out for you. But if you cast your cast net right where their beaks are uh, pointing, man, usually there's bait fish. For me, maybe it's just a coincidence. Now I got these Fight Club knockouts, uh, butt kickers, man. These things are. These are scented, they're very good, but I found I've had to just clip off just a just a tip like that to put it on this this size jig head. And when I've done that, I think I'm getting more action because I all they just keep biting the tail off if I if I give it a stretch to give it a little more action. So I just clip that part off. And then it's a little smaller profile. Seems to work a little better if there's fish. And I'm, hopefully I can show you that in action. And then there was a tree limb. Can usually get them out of these tree limbs. Backing up. <clears throat> One tree limb to the next.
good. That was crazy. The whole thing snapped and then just landed right here. It's completely snapped. <laughs> it just goes boop right there. That's amazing. <laughs> I can't believe that just happened. That's the first. Well guys, that video was basically just to let you know a few of the spots that I like to go fish and how badly they were affected by this king tide and the nor'easter that came through. I I didn't catch any fish that day, but that's fishing. That's what happens. But I did want you to see some of the areas I like to go and what they look like. Um, and when the tide isn't so bad, they're actually really good fisheries. They're, it's great. Um, usually catch trout, redfish. Uh, you can catch mangrove snapper. A lot of those places are great to fish. Anyway... I'll have more fish for you on the next video. The next video uh, is, is going to be great. I hooked into some um, some pretty good fish on um, in St. Augustine in Volano on Surfside Park. The, um, the beach is completely different now. That king tide has made that, uh, that whole area a high-impact beach. It went from a low-impact beach to a high-impact. So now it's deep immediately as you get it in the water as opposed to having to have it shallow so far out so it went from a low impact to a high impact and a high impact means for those of you guys who can't cast far oh hallelujah all you have to do is just throw it really short and get it in really short 30 40 yards off the beach not even 20 30 Whatever. You'll see in the next video. But uh, thanks a lot, guys. Like and subscribe. And I'll show you more of my spots, more of my um, cool fishing adventures that I go on. And uh, just keep it real. And we'll see you next time.